Hi Libra, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep thoughts for May of 2019. This is an overall energy. It's a general reading for the sign of Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, and your astro chart is huge, if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. If it does, that's awesome, but a word of caution, do not plan your life on a general tarot card reading, right? If you have questions at the end of this reading about your particular situation, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader, and I hope that that is me, but reach out to your favorite tarot card reader and get a personal tarot card reading. That way these cards can be tailored just for you, just for your situation. If you'd like a reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There is a link in the box below specifically for YouTube subscribers so you can get the $50 hook up. All right, Libra, here we go again. <laughs> it's kind of sort of the same thing, but there's a little bit of progression, so that's a good thing. So we start this reading with some kind of movement happening, some kind of movement happening happening in your life. Communication, interaction, movement of some kind is happening in your life. This movement has you struggling, struggling, burdened, okay? Not necessarily, well, maybe struggling, but definitely burdened, definitely burdened. You have a lot of indecision with the Two of Swords, that you're kind of sitting on. You're just sitting on it for a minute with the temperance card, just kind of having some patience, some moderation. You're just applying temperance to the situation, right? You're just sitting on it, which is typical Libra, right? Y'all don't do anything uh, rashly. You guys think everything to death, right? <laughs> so, and that's a good thing, right? Nobody wants to make rash decisions. Um, so you're sitting on it and uh, you have some confusion about the situation. You're just really just not real sure because you do have options. You have different directions that you can go in your life. And uh, this movement that has happened recently has you just kind of contemplating everything, right? What are you contemplating? What is this burden or this struggle? Well, it is the Ten of Cups. It is an opportunity, something that you see as a potential opportunity to bring harmony and happiness and values alignment into your life. It is something that is offering you an inspired, creative new beginning, a passionate new beginning in your life. Four of Swords says you're thinking about it. You're thinking about it, and the Two of Wands comes in and says you're thinking about how this is going to affect your future. Princess of Wands tells us that this, this movement, whatever it is, communication or, or whatever it is, this movement, um, gives you feelings of excitement, right? It, it really does with the Princess of Wands. She's all about enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, a free spirit. So you're definitely, definitely leaning towards exploring this, this movement that's come into your life, right? So you go into this hermit mode right here. You do some soul searching and some introspection. If you haven't done it already, maybe you're doing it now. Perhaps this is all about to unfold for you, right? Perhaps this hasn't even happened yet. And this is what's coming down the road here in the month of May, which is my intention for this reading is a future forecast, right? But you could find yourself at any point in this reading. So you're doing some soul searching, some introspection, some soul searching and some introspection about one of two things, either about security, home, family, or a particular individual that embodies the energies of the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this is an Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, right? Um, as a Taurus, I like to see myself as the Queen of Pentacles, but nevertheless, and the Empress for that matter, but nevertheless, it is... Um, earth energy. So you're either thinking about 
building and creating a relationship or you are thinking uh, that's going to bring security and comfort and happiness into your life or you are thinking about an earth energy individual doesn't have to be an earth energy but somebody that you see as security foundation and somebody that you can build a future with what you're thinking about is how this queen of pentacles person has broken your heart in the past or how you've broken their heart there's been some kind of heartbreak some kind of painful separation right it's painful separation in as you are not with this person right now and perhaps that's what this movement is perhaps you are uh, um, coming together with this person anyway there has been some heartbreak between the two of you in the past or in the situation in the past seven of wands comes in and says you feel challenged you really do you feel a little guarded you feel a little challenged you feel a little overwhelmed by the situation five of cups comes on top of that and talks about where in the past there was some regret and some disappointment some despair maybe even some bereavement because of this broken heart right here whatever happened right here was not a happy situation and it caused a lot of emotions and libra is being very very cautious very ginger about approaching this situation right hence the seven of cups and temperance right you just kind of eh, eh. We open up this next row with the emperor. This emperor is about the authority, the establishment, the structure and control of your life. Making a decision with the king of swords about just that, about the fabric of your life, the very foundation, the structure of your life. Making a decision, right? Going back to all of this, making some kind of decision about how you're going to move forward in this situation the four of wands comes in this the, the this is about structure and foundation and stability in your life this card is also about a transition right a transition into success with the king of wands and i know that you're an air energy but you are presenting in this reading as the king of wands right very passionate very um very um focused uh, achieving kind of energy, right? So you want to transition into success with this King of Wands right here. You want to obtain the Ten of Pentacles. You want to create family, home, establishment, wealth, a future, a good, solid future. Six of Pentacles says that you want to uh, give and receive on a daily basis with whatever this situation is up here so you're deciding in the in these cards right here that you do see some stability in the foundation of a relationship with this queen of pentacles type of energy up here king of wands says that you you want success you you want the ten of pentacles and the six of pentacles with this person equal give and take and the sharing on the daily the Princess of Swords says that you are formulating a thought process. You are making a plan about how it is that you are going to approach either building abundance with this person or this person specifically as the Empress. The High Priestess comes in, says that you've taken a minute to sit down with your intuition, your subconscious mind. You've taken a minute to evaluate the situation. You've talked with spirit and you have worked out some of the things that were holding you back. Five of Swords says what you have worked out is the conflict that was in this relationship in the past. Perhaps some loss, some defeat, a little bit of betrayal, right? You've worked it out with the high priestess, right? So we're just going to slide that right under there. That high priestess has come in and she has alleviated the conflict that you felt. And now you want to move forward as the Prince of Cups and share your emotions with somebody, okay? 
I hope you all can't hear that. A big old truck just started in the background. They're moving some furniture outside. So anyway, um, you're going to go forward and you're going to share your cup of feels. Feeling like the king of pentacles, right? Security, control, power. You're just totally in control of the situation. The nine of swords comes in and says that this whole decision-making process has not been easy for you. You have been tied up pretty hard with some intense anxiety, maybe even a little bit of torment about whether you want to move, move forward in this whole situation. Ten of Swords comes in and says that, that, well, let me back up. So the Nine of Swords, right, really, really wrapped in your head about this whole situation. Death comes in on top of this and clarifies this Nine of Swords with an ending to the despair and the torment. A change, a transition, a transformation of the way that you feel about the situation. This Ten of Swords talks about regeneration, recovery, and regeneration, okay? Yes, it's about being backstabbed, defeated, crisis, betrayal, endings, loss, inevitable ends, a fear of ruin, which you definitely have all of that going on with that Nine of Swords right there, right? That's what you're thinking about in the Nine of Swords is, is this... Can this even po be possible? Is this possible? Well, the death card comes in and says, yes, yes, it is. You are putting an ending to all of those feelings and you are going to transition and, and change the status of this relationship into regeneration and recovery and renewal. Queen of Swords comes in and says, you are making an absolute decision. You are cutting out the memories of the pain from the past, and you're making an absolute decision. The Princess of Pentacles says that you are manifesting a brand new opportunity in your life. You are manifesting. You are giving this whole situation CPR. You are manifesting. You are regenerating this whole relationship that you have with this Queen of Pentacles, Empress type of person. Seven of Swords. This talks about betrayal, deception, shady behavior. It talks about breaking free of the mental challenges that have kept you caught up in this type of thinking. Breaking free, manifesting a brand new prosperous opportunity in your life. Six of Cups comes in and says reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past. Knight of Cups, again, same card. Prince of Cups, Knight of Cups, same card. You are going to offer your feels. You're going to offer your feels to somebody. You're going to, to, to express how you would like to create the foundation of the Ten of Pentacles going into the future. Three of Wands comes in and says, you're preparing. You are preparing to pull the trigger and execute this whole thing. Page of Swords, preparing again. You are formulating a thought pattern, a plan. You're beginning to formulate decisions and thinking about how you are going to implement them. Communication also. This could very well be you communicating to this energy person here that that you want to move forward communicating perhaps that that you are are finally walking away from the feelings of loss and regret and disappointment and despair you are moving on from those feelings you're accepting what was and you are forgiving the situation Whoever needs forgiveness, maybe it was you, Libra, who caused the heartbreak. Maybe it was them who caused the heartbreak. Regardless, you are forgiving and you are moving on from those feelings. Because with the King of Pentacles, you have a feeling of security and control and power in the situation, right? You are, you are feeling 
really, really in control of the situation. And you are releasing the controlling feelings of the despair from the past. King of, Pen Pen King of Pentacles could also represent this Empress, this Queen of Pentacles as, as well. Judgment, making that black and white decision. Yesterday, I felt like this. Today, I feel like this. A decision that changes the course of your life. You're making a decision to balance this relationship, to make this relationship a priority in your life. Because ultimately, this relationship seems to want to bring you harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your life. Where there was a misalignment of values before, there is now an alignment of values. Y'all are on the same page and things look like super, super freaking amazing. Tarot, can you give us, thank you for those messages, Spirit. Thank you. Can you give us some closing words for Libra? Closing words for Libra. Yep, taking the conflict that you used to feel about all of this and harnessing that energy and using it as fuel to have an increased focus on your goals. Whoa, what was that? Oh, we got a flipper. Hold on. Ugh. Yep, the struggle that you started out this reading with right here has now turned into accomplishment. What else? Oh, look, Libra, it's your feels coming out in the cards. It's your feels coming out in the cards. The Queen of Cups, emotionally balanced, feeling good about things, right? Emotional security, calm, cool, collected, knowing that you know that you know that this is the direction that you want to go. What else? Tarot, any... Nice. Ooh, a tower moment. Nice. Something is, is, is creating sudden change in the way that you feel. You've had a re revelation, an awakening, an epiphany. And that's what this whole reading is about, right? The epiphany. I mean, it started out with that movement right there, right? Nice. What else? What else do you have to say for Libra, Tarot? What else? Ooh, yes, this tower moment, this epiphany puts you into this high priestess mode right here, right? Puts you into this high priestess mode right here, and this tower moment was you coming to terms with that five of swords energy right there and deciding to put it all down, be open to change and loose the past resentment that you've held on to for God only knows how long in regards to this relationship. That was your tower moment. That high priestess down here, that's your tower moment. Seven of Pentacles talks to us about vision. Having vision, waiting, sowing seeds, ace of swords, absolute mental clarity about the direction you're going to go. Anything else? Yep, you want to work it out. You want to work on it. You want to work it out. You want to gain mastery of not only your feels, but of the situation to bring success. And the Ten of Cups, right? Three of Cups, celebration, harmony, just like happy, right? The challenge, again, feeling challenged, feeling guarded, right? However, this card is saying to me that the challenge is over because it is, it's squished, it's sandwiched between celebration and teamwork and collaboration, right? You are no longer feeling challenged. At this point in the reading. Now remember, each one of these cards is an emotional, physical, or mental process, right? So these are the these are the the feelings that you're gonna go through, the processes that you're going to go through. Yeah, after much contemplation and reevaluation, 
you do not want to miss out on this opportunity again, right? Because it's coming back around and it's coming back around for a reason, right? It's coming back around for a reason. Could it be a karmic relationship? Maybe. Maybe there is something that needs to be tied up, something that needs to be finished between the two of you, because obviously with this whole reading, there is unfinished business between the two of you. Perhaps it's a soulmate relationship where this person is coming into your life or you are being led into this person's life so you can remind each other of what your original journey was, right? I don't see soulmate cards, though, except for the Six of Cups. But other than that, I don't see a whole soulmate thing here. Knight of Swords, taking some action. Action. Maybe even communicating. What else about Libra? <clears throat> what else about Libra, Tarot? Any closing words that you want to say for Libra? Purpose. Purpose, taking some action because you see this as the purpose for your life at the, at the time. Look at this, a new beginning and a new journey, releasing pain, having optimism and rolling, locomotion, right? Just starts out slow and gets bigger and stronger and faster. Right on, anything else, Taro, that you want to say for Libra? Closing words, spirit, anything that you'd like to say for, for Libra as we, as we close this whole thing here. Whoa, I don't know if I'll take those or not, but let's see. Let's see what this one is. Death, look, an ending, a change, a transformation, a transition into something amazing. Yeah, those cards don't make any sense. It's just a slippery fingers. Anything? Happiness. Wow. Positivity, vitality, happiness. What else? What else? Is that it? All right, spirit. Going once. Going twice. Sold. That's your reading, Libra. If you'd like a personal reading from me, again, you can hit me up with the link below just for you, just for your situation. Don't ever depend on a general reading to plan your life. You guys have an amazing couple of weeks. I'll be back mid-month-ish and uh, we'll do it again right on. Namaste.